I'm going to show you how to remove coffee stains from your garments. This is going to work for pretty much everything. I'm going to show you on a white shirt though. So without any further ado, let's um, stain my shirt again like usual and uh, we will see how we can remove this stain. So the first thing that you want to do once you have accidentally spilled some coffee hair, whether you're at home or if you're at the office or something, is that you want to pat down the stain as much as possible using a paper towel preferably. Remember, this is going to stain whatever you um, pat it down with as well. Try to get off as much of the coffee right away, soak it up into hand towels or whatever you prefer to use. If you have taken off the garments, make sure that you only have one layer at the same time so that you don't squeeze the rest of the coffee into the other side of your shirt. So the next thing we need to do here is Try to get off as much of the coffee stain as you can with some cold water. This is just going to be some preliminary work. We will need to do more than this afterwards. Especially on fresh stains. If you have a set stain, this isn't going to help much at all. But for these really fresh stains, this is really going to help. So try to rinse out as much of that coffee you can with some cold, cold water. You don't really want it to be hot as hot water has a tendency to make the stain set a lot more than it already has. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse off as much as I can here until I don't see it. Have any more improvements doing so. All right, so as you can see here, the stain is already getting a lot better by rinsing it with some water. So if you're out and about, you're not really gonna be able to do the next step right away that we're gonna do now. So what I suggest that you do is just scrub the shirt with whatever cleaning product you can find. Probably you will be able to access some soap, so try to scrub it down with that. You want to get as much of this coffee off now before it starts setting and drying up. If you're already at home or if you have a stain, that has already set and is dried up. We will need to use a lot more powerful stuff right away. So for those of us who are at home, what we need next is some simple distilled white vinegar. I'm gonna use some 5% here. That's probably a good place to start. We're also going to use some hand soap here. The reason we're using hand soap instead of detergent right away is that hand soap is really effective at kind of um, getting off that oily, oily uh, stain. So it kind of loosens it up right away. <sighs> this is pretty good coffee, by the way. Can't believe I'm wasting it on uh, staining my shirts. So what we're gonna do here next is that we're gonna take our distilled white vinegar and we're gonna add, let's say two to three parts. I'm gonna go with three parts white vinegar here and I'm gonna add that to a bowl like that. One part, or one spoon, two, and then three. And then we're gonna add a good spoon uh, full of our dish soap as well here. Next thing that we're gonna do is that we're just gonna mix up this mix mixture really nice. And we're gonna take the entire area with the coffee stain here, and we're gonna submerge that into the, the little bowl that we have here with the white vinegar as well as dish soap. Get it all in there like that. And we're gonna leave this in here for I'd say at least 15 minutes. What I like to do when I have stains and I'm soaking them is that every few minutes or so I go over it with a little brush or with my hands and I just agitate it a little bit so that we can get this solution deep into the stain and help remove the stain as much as possible here. Vinegar and uh, as well as dish soap in this circumstance usually is a pretty effective stain remover but it does have its limitations. But if you have a white garment in particular in the past, I've had a lot of success using uh, hydrogen peroxide directly on the stain. Just keep in mind that you can only use this on white garments, as this is really going to bleach the, <laughs> the garment. Also, I've had a lot of success using uh, this one, oxygen-based bleach. That's going to be really effective, but again, it has a tendency to bleach the clothes a little bit. Um, the oxygen-based bleach, not as much as the hydrogen peroxide. So perhaps as a last resort, if you can't get this out using the vinegar solution after a couple of rounds using that, uh, you could consider using um, some uh, oxygen-based bleach on colored garments as well. Just keeping in mind that, yeah, it may bleach uh, the, the garment a little bit. But if it's a choice between not removing the stain and... Uh, <laughs> getting a little bit bleached. Perhaps you have to weigh that up yourself. Anyway, we're just gonna repeat this process here every few minutes, to scrub down the stains, get in there deep over the next 15 minutes. And yeah, I'm gonna cut over to that part uh, like this. All right, let's have a look here. It's been actually closer to half an hour than 15 minutes. So let's have a look at the results here. I've been kind of uh, scrubbing it every once in a while. And as you can see here, the coffee is now almost totally gone on this white shirt here. So what I'm going to do next with this is to wash it in the washing machine. However, what I wanted to mention that I forgot earlier is if you have a shirt, especially one that has coffee scents that's really set in there, what you could do is consider leaving your shirt or garment in the solution 
overnight or so and then you can wash it in the morning after if it's really set in there but for these fresh stains in particular i don't think it's going to be a problem again you could consider some of these other mixtures as well what we're going to do with this shirt now is that i'm actually going to go ahead and rinse it off because i want to use some oxygen based bleach while we're washing this one in the machine just to make sure that all the stains gets out of there and you can't really mix bleach and uh, vinegar without creating a catastrophic result. So I've thrown it into the machine here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on here and open up the washing machine tray. So for this wash in particular, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna wash it with some uh, oxygen based bleach here. We don't really need detergent for this. Again, if you have a colored shirt, at this point you could consider using some uh, detergent instead. Perhaps uh, an enzyme based detergent would be really effective here. Again, I'm gonna link all these products uh, in the video description if you want to purchase any of this and you're not sure where to find it. You also support the channel, by the way, if you use those links to, to purchase these products. So I'm gonna load it into number two here. We're not gonna do a pre-wash and we're not gonna add any detergent either. I don't think it's necessary. So I'm gonna close this tray off now and we're just gonna do a quick wash on this. At this point you can use as hot of a wash as your garment allows for. On this shirt in particular I know that it's 40 degrees so I'm gonna turn the temperature up to 40 and from here we are ready to start washing. Now here's one thing to keep in mind. If you had a fresh stain in particular once you dry it it's going to really set. So until you have this stain thoroughly cleaned out don't dry your garment, especially not in the dryer, uh, tumble dryer, as it's really gonna make that stain set in there. By the way, if you want some other cool tips and hacks to save a little bit on laundry costs, I've made this huge cheat sheet that you can also check out in the video description or by going to organizing.tv slash cheat sheet and you can download it there as well. And here are the results after washing. As you can see, there is absolutely no trace of the stain. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I'm gonna make a lot more in the future. So yeah, here's another one that you can check out and I'll see you over there.